The novel coronavirus led to changes in human activities around the globe. As a result of city to countrywide lockdowns, some bodies of water have run clearer, emissions of pollutants have temporarily declined, and transportation and shipment of goods have decreased. We can see some of these changes from space. NASA, ESA, and JAXA have partnered to make data from their fleet of satellites accessible on the new COVID-19 Earth Observation Dashboard. You can search through various signals of the COVID lockdowns as they're visible from space. When you arrive at the dashboard, you have a few choices for digging into the data. On the left side, you can sort the observations by country or by type of data indicator. We'll walk through a few of these. When you select an indicator, points on the map where those data are available will turn either green, blue, red, or gray to indicate if the data are better than, the same as, or worse than the average baseline, or still being processed and uploaded. First up, economic indicators. We'll start with import production sites, status of metallic ores. Points on the map where these data are available turned blue. We'll look at Dunkirk in France. A chart shows how many ships were available at piers over time in imagery from Sentinel-2. We can also look at finished goods production, like in Beijing. Clicking on the blue dot pulls up a chart showing how many new cars were visible in ALOS-2 and Sentinel-1 satellite imagery. You can click to read more and see the satellite imagery. We can see other economic indicators, like electric lights seen from space. We'll look at California. Clicking on the EO data button zooms into the imagery from the NASA NOAA SUMI NPP satellite. You can compare lights from before and during the COVID lockdowns, and you can zoom in even further for a closer look at the images. We can also investigate environmental indicators, like air quality. We'll look at the concentration of nitrogen dioxide, an air pollutant released by human activities, like driving cars and power plants, measured by the Tropomi instrument from Copernicus Sentinel-5P satellites. You can compare global NO2 concentrations from before and during COVID lockdowns, or zoom and pan to specific locations. Using the greenhouse gases indicator, we can investigate similar measurements of global carbon dioxide from OCO2 over the entire planet and GOSAT satellites over individual city areas. We'll click on global indicator for the difference between 2020 and prior years. You can also click on cities like Tokyo and see greenhouse gas column data for the annual change over the last few months. Water quality data over a time series in the North Adriatic Sea show a drop and then subsequent increase in chlorophyll concentrations, which might reflect changes in both natural conditions like winds and currents, and in human activities like agriculture and sewage runoff. You can also compare chlorophyll concentrations in coastal areas, like the Venice Lagoon, where the drop is partly the result of decreased human activity. There are more data indicators to come, so you can continue to explore the changes caused by COVID-19 lockdowns as we see them from space.